Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. The day is finally here. I'm sitting down to clean my makeup vanity and organize my entire makeup collection. We'll most likely do a little decluttering as well, not much, but I've been putting it off for a long time, making excuses because I know it's going to take a while and it's a big project, but today I've cleared the calendar. So I have nothing else to do today except for tackle this once and for all. I started mentally preparing last night by getting organized. So I started grouping products together, moving things out of the way, creating little piles around the room. I'm not going to tackle fragrances for this video. I'm going to save that for another video, but I already feel like I'm in a much better place to begin the cleaning process. I know I'm going to be moving around a lot. I wanted to be comfy and cozy, so I threw on the little activewear set that I picked up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's very soft. I love it and I'm probably gonna sweat. So I'm gonna quickly spray a little deodorant as well. I'm sure you're familiar with the brand Native. Well, they just launched a brand new collection of deodorant and body sprays. So we teamed up so I could share my favorite scents. They come in eco-friendly cans. The packaging is recyclable and powered by air. They're aluminum-free, clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. What really sets them apart is that they work, for one thing. You can spray them under your arms. You can spray them anywhere you want to, but also they have such unique scents to choose from. So my favorite, the one I'm wearing today is coconut and vanilla. It smells so light and fresh. It's a little bit tropical. It smells like fresh coconut. Eucalyptus mint has been my favorite scent in the stick deodorant and the body spray is just as nice. A little minty and then the eucalyptus gives it a cooling crispiness. And what can I say? I love mint and deodorant. I feel like it does such a good job masking bad odors. So next we have cucumber mint. Oh, this is so good as well. It's a little bit sweeter because of the cucumber. The mint is again, really refreshing. They just smell so clean. I love taking group fitness classes. And of course you never want to smell when you're around other people. So I love these for that. Also, if I'm ever running errands after Pilates, they're so easy to just throw in a gym bag. And right now you can use the code Aaron Nicole TV for 20% off your first purchase at Native. All of the information is listed down below in the description box. So be sure to check it out and let's get started. In my experience, it's best to start from the bottom and make your way up. So I just emptied the foundation drawer. I love a good foundation clean out. And as you can see, my collection has been built up quite a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate any boxes, anything that's not foundation that shouldn't go with the foundation and concealers. And then I've always wanted to separate my Chanel makeup. I do a lot of Chanel reviews. I'm constantly purchasing the new collections and doing comparisons. What happens is these drawers end up getting really messy. You know, in a, in a couple months, I'm sure they will be messy again and then we'll have to sit down and do this again. And if I'm looking for something specific, it makes it nearly impossible to find. So I'm also going to start separating all of my Chanel makeup as well. Normally I wouldn't keep several shades of the same foundation formula unless I really love it. And this YSL All Hours is one of my favorites. Same thing with my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, although one of these bottles is almost gone. And I do like to mix two shades together, 5.5 and 5.2. That is the perfect shade for me. So I'm gonna keep all three of these. Okay, maybe I have a few exceptions here. I'm also keeping two shades of the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40 because this is one of my summer staples. I'm not keeping both shades of the Very Valentino foundation. Only one of them works nicely, but I am keeping both of the V Lighter primers because I love them both. The Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation is another favorite. This is my second bottle, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm keeping a couple squeezy tubes, including Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation, the iconic London Radiance Booster. I love that one. Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue, and then this Maracuja Juicy Glow from Tarte. I actually haven't tried that one yet, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I always forget about these. It's the Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil Liquid Highlighter. They're so beautiful on the skin. I keep them in the bottom drawer, so I end up not grabbing them, but I do love them. So now that I'm reminded that they exist, I'm gonna keep them in the drawer and just make an effort to use these. This is a favorite skin tint. This is a favorite. This is a favorite. These are favorites. I like it, but it didn't blow me away. And for Guerlain, that's pretty disappointing because I'm so used to their products becoming holy grails. Dior foundations oxidize like crazy on me. That's the case with both of these formulas. I have to make sure I have two coats of sunless tan. Otherwise, I look nuts when I wear these. I considered holding on to all three shades of this Givenchy concealer, but I definitely don't need three, so I'm gonna hold on to two. 
I also have two Armani Luminous Silk Concealers. I'm holding on to both, I really love it. I also have two Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I like this concealer, I do. I know some people love it, some people don't really care for it. I think it's really good. I don't use it that often, but I'm still gonna hold on to them. I'm also keeping Huda Beauty, the Makeup Forever HD, and Danessa Myricks concealers. I love this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I don't think I even own it in the right shade. I also have one of these in the top drawer, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. It's beautiful. I wish I had a lighter shade. This is 4.5 Fair. I need to check out maybe shade one or two for extra brightness. And finally, I'm holding on to these two NARS concealers. I have one of these NARS pot concealers in the top drawer. This is shade Light 3 Honey. I use this for blemishes, for spots on the face. It's amazing, one of my favorite products. I have space over here, I have space in the back. When I go through the rest of these drawers, I feel like I might end up putting stuff back here, but for now, I think it looks really good. And when I open it, I can kind of see everything I have. It's not spilling over, I don't have products just thrown in here, so I'm happy with this. I hate being wasteful. I honestly didn't think I would have much to declutter. I was just trying to organize, but all of this is going to go from the bottom drawer. A lot of these are products that I held on to hoping to use. I haven't touched them. They've separated. They aren't the right shade. So it's time to just go ahead and get rid of them. This drawer is for all of my powders and face palettes. And I bought these organizers from, I believe the container store. I was gonna say the container store or Amazon a couple years ago. So this has all of my Hourglass palettes. I have some Charlotte Tilbury palettes, two By Terry palettes, a Dior highlighter palette, this Jumbo from Marc Jacobs. So all of those fit really nicely in here. I'm not gonna try to mess around with that. This organizer has a bunch of loose powders. I have my Lancome Absolute powder, a bunch of Guerlain meteorites, this is going to go in the back here. I have two Giorgio Armani Luminous Pink Powders. I love this product so much. This was one of my holy grail powders and I don't even think they make it anymore so I'm always tempted to save it. I never really use it, I probably should. Maybe I'll hold on to one and stick it in the top drawer and then the other one is gonna go back here. Another pink setting powder. This is from Huda Beauty. And see, now I know I'm missing powders because I think I have two or three shades of that powder. The Kogan Do Loose Setting Powder. This is a really good one. Makeup Forever. This is another great loose setting powder. This one isn't quite as brightening, but I'm gonna hold on to it. We have Armani, Charlotte Tilbury, YSL. I'm definitely holding on to these. I love the Givenchy Loose Powder as well. This one has a limited edition cap which I think I just held on to. I don't think this is the cap that came with this powder, but I just thought it was cute, so I swapped it in. Both of my Christian Louboutin palettes, these were way too expensive to ever declutter. I have a couple NARS face palettes, probably too many. I should probably declutter maybe one of them, but I checked all three of these and they look nice, so I'm gonna hold on to them for now. I have four Benefit blushes. One of them is their famous Dandelion. I definitely don't need to hold on to all of these, but I do really like the shades. I'm gonna keep these four because I am getting rid of a lot of other stuff. And then I have some miscellaneous powders and highlighters. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a loose Givenchy highlighter, Makeup Forever. This really isn't my shade. It's their powder foundation and then Gucci powder. For now, I have a lot of space in here, but like I said, I think this is going to fill up fast once we hit the next drawer up. This drawer is dedicated to bronzers, blushes, illuminators, so it's a big one. This is all I could fit into this little organizer. This is where we're starting. I have my Valentino compacts, a bunch of Tom Ford blushes, some Charlotte Tilbury, all of my Pat McGrath Labs blushes, some Gucci powders, Fenty, a little bit of everything. I did my best to organize it, but I was just shoving as many compacts in here as possible. So it's not truly organized, but I think as long as I'm able to get rid of the stuff I don't use, I don't really mind. I have some Chantecaille powders. I have some Dior powders. More Chantecaille. I'm gonna rearrange to keep those together. I'm holding on to these House Labs products. This is one of the blushes. I think this is the only one I'm going to keep. And then this is one of the highlighters. 
I actually think the House Labs highlighters are beautiful. It's one of my favorite things from the brand. I also really like these. I wish there was a way to keep everything in the front because as soon as products get pushed to the back, I just don't really reach for them anymore. Some Rare Beauty. Actually, the Rare Beauty I'll keep closer to the front. For now, this drawer is done. It might not look very organized, but I was able to get rid of some products that I'm no longer going to use. And what I might have to do is go back to the container store and get smaller organizers. That way I can kind of rotate and rearrange them. And if I put some products back here, they won't just fall and get pushed to the very back. These are the products that I was able to get rid of from that drawer. This is actually going in the empties. This Givenchy powder, this is empty. The House Labs bronzer, I wasn't really a huge fan of this. It went on kind of patchy. I also don't really like these House Labs eyeshadows. This came from the powder drawer. I actually found a lighter shade, so I swapped it out. I'm gonna hold on to the lighter shade of this Makeup Forever powder, and this I'm going to get rid of. A couple miscellaneous things in here, but nothing that I use, nothing that I'm gonna miss. Since most of the eyeshadow palettes from the eyeshadow drawer are Chanel and I'm separating all of my Chanel makeup, I had to take an intermission from organizing the main vanity Instead, I turned to destroying these drawers underneath, and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this pile of stuff, but so far, I've separated all of this. These are products that are still in boxes. I've never touched them, they aren't old, and I've just come to the realization that I'm never gonna get around to using them. As you can see, I have plenty of stuff already, so what I'm gonna do is separate this pile out and I'm going to include it in the pile of stuff for giveaways and to be distributed. I have so much more room in my eyeshadow drawer now. Now that I've separated all of the Chanel palettes, I just have so much more space here. So I actually had room to put all of my mascaras, concealer, I usually use this for the brow, eye brightener, some eyeliners, cream shadows. So I can actually see what I have going on in here now, which is really nice. Back here I have all of my Charlotte Tilbury palettes, my Dior eyeshadow palettes, my Tom Ford palettes, single shadows, more palettes over here. These are from NARS, this is Give Beauty, and then the rest are cream shadows and singles. I even have more space over there on the side, which is really great, and more space in this little portion right here. Last but certainly not least, we have the most important and the scariest drawer of them all. This is the top drawer. I took everything out and I started to put it back, but I am going to show you everything that I keep in this front section of the final drawer. This is the top drawer and it may look a little bit messy. I tried my best to clean whatever this is. I think it's lip liner. It's basically permanent because it's just spearing around and I was making it worse. So don't mind that. I already started filling in this back section with products, but I'm gonna show you what I keep in the front. First up, the Super Goop Glow Screen. I use this just about every single day. I have every single shade and it's a top drawer must have. And then for foundation, on days that I want a little more coverage, I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And then on days that I want lighter coverage, I've been using the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer or the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Both of these are amazing. Next, we have the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer and this Mini Bronzing Drops. I have quite a few concealers in the top drawer. I have another Dior Concealer, Pat McGrath Labs, and Giorgio Armani. I found another one and the Charlotte Tilbury. I have three Charlotte Tilbury wands, the Beauty Light Wand in Pillow Talk, the Original, and then the Matte Beauty Blush Wand in Pink Pop. I have a lot of iconic London illuminators, including these two. I also really like the Roll Away Glow Liquid Highlighters. I genuinely use at least one of these every single day. Most of the time I use this gold one to highlight the face or highlight my eyes, but I also like to use these two for the body. The Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette has been my everyday eyeshadow palette, so I keep this in the top drawer. I've been using my Tom Ford Powder Compact every day as well. I also have this Patrick Ta blush. This is shade Do We Know Her. This I've been keeping in the top drawer, but it was recently replaced by She's Flushing. That's my new favorite shade. I'm still holding on to these Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes, but these are nice and thin, so I can just slip them down the side. For bronzer, I have Sephora Collection, as well as the Say Beauty Sun Melt in Light Bronze. Two more blushes from Armani and Gucci. 
I bought the Westman Atelier Liquid Highlighter in the shade Peau de Rosé. I've been using it for about a week now and so far I really like it. This is so pretty for shimmer. This is from Give Beauty. It's the shade Dazzle. It's a gorgeous copper color. A couple cream eyeshadows as well. More blush from Rare Beauty, but these are small. They don't take up much space. I really love the way this Colleen Rothschild Black Tourmaline Face Primer smells, so I've been using this as well. This is the new Kosas Dream Beam. I have yet to use this, but I'm throwing it in the top drawer because I want to use it. I want to test it soon. I've seen it all over social media and it looks absolutely beautiful. Of course, my everyday brow products. Some eyeliners and mascaras. More eyeliners, pencils, liquids, a little bit of everything. I'm almost done with this Westman Atelier mini stick. This is one of the contour sticks, so I keep it in the top drawer. I'll probably use it up in the next couple of weeks. A little more sparkle when I want to highlight the eyes. NARS Pot Concealer, this is a must for me. A couple more tube products. We have a blush, lip gloss, eye balm, the Tarte Juicy Lip Plump. This is one of my all-time favorite lips. It is jam-packed. It's a very full drawer. I need it to be a full drawer, but it definitely looks so much better than how it looks before. And I already kind of know what's in here because these are the products that I use regularly. So whenever I need to grab something quick, I just open up the top drawer and I know it's in here. This is my final pile to declutter. Not a ton of stuff, but some significant pieces like this Tom Ford eyeshadow palette. I got this a long time ago. It's very pretty, but I just never grab it. Like never ever. I have to show you this very carefully, but my Guerlain bronzer finally cracked. As I was using it, there became a little hole and I knew it was only a matter of time before it cracked and it did. And now it's just too messy to use like this. I just, I make a mess every time I open this compact. So this needs to go. This by Terry CC cream. I really like this product. I almost used the entire tube. But now it's just so old and I don't think I'm going to finish it in time. So this needs to go. Same thing with this by Terry CC serum. This old wand from Charlotte Tilbury. And then a couple other miscellaneous things in there. I just never really use. The only other makeup I have in the main vanity is on the other side. It's this large eyeshadow palette drawer, which never really gets that messy. I mean... To be honest, I barely take stuff out of here, but if I do, I immediately put it back. It's very easy to stay clean and organized. I very rarely add anything over here. So I have some Laura Mercy powders, Makeup by Mario sticks, Natasha Denona palettes. This is where I keep all of my Pat McGrath Labs palettes. I don't open this drawer as often as I should, but it does stay clean that way. Now this makes me very happy. These are the two drawers underneath the vanity. They are looking so much better. So the drawer on the right is now filled with my entire Chanel makeup collection. It all fit. I even have some room for growth, which is nice. I started to organize, but then I kind of gave up. I might try to find a new system over there. And then on the left-hand side, I have a couple drawers dedicated to long comb. I have a drawer dedicated to makeup that I'm planning to review or create content with. The bottom drawer is facial mists and sunscreens. And then I do have a drawer dedicated to products that are unopened. I did my best to go through, take out all of the unopened products and just stick it in the giveaway pile because I don't want to hold on to too much. That is just gonna sit there. Realistically, it'll stay in there for several months and I'll never get to it. And the very last makeup related piece that needs to be organized is my lipstick collection. So here are all of my lip liners, lipsticks, and lip glosses. For now, I'm just gonna go through everything I have and throw anything away that's old or moldy. And then I need a new system. I'm thinking some stacked drawers. I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna find something on Amazon, but there's really no way for me to organize this because I have too many lipsticks and not enough spaces for them. You might remember when I first bought this Gucci liquid lipstick, I mentioned that it had a terrible smell to it and I asked if anybody else had this problem. It seems like everybody else's lipstick smelled fine, so I must have got a bad batch. I'm not sure. I bought it when it first launched at Sephora. I went to the store and I picked it up and I haven't really touched it since, of course, because it smells like chemicals. I'm never gonna wear it, so this is definitely getting decluttered. These nine lippies right here are also going to be decluttered. There's nothing wrong with them per se. I like the colors, I like the formulas, I like the brands, but I just never grab them, and some of them are pretty old. This Give Beauty isn't old, but it's a matte red lipstick. I don't like matte lipsticks. I rarely wear red as it is, so I held on to the cream, but I am going to get rid of this matte. A couple of these Chantecailles are just really old. This Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit too dark. 
The Laura Mercier are old, this gloss is discolored, so it's time for me to let these go. It's nowhere near complete, but for now the lipstick collection looks so much better and I'm glad I was able to thin it out just a little bit. And now this is the complete makeup vanity. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I am so proud of myself for tackling this project. It had been far too long since I'd done a proper cleaning, organization, and declutter. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked seeing the process. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.